I have traveled a lot, yet in all my travels, Zimbabwe stands out the most. I have fallen in love with this country and Victoria Falls is just the icing on the cake. I mean, look at this beauty. The experiences I've had here are unmatched and I hold them dear to my heart. This is my first outing. Literally, from the moment I came to Big Falls, I never left my hotel up to now. It's the first place I'm coming here at Big Falls, and I'm super excited. I am not alone. Hi, come on, come over. What's up, guys? Welcome hey. to Victoria Falls. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah. What's your name? Uh, my name. Yes. The one my mother gave me, or the street name? Both. In Big Falls, they know me as Mr. Rutsoka. My name is Innocent. I work for Rutsoka Travels. Oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, what does Rutoka Travel do? Uh, we're a travel and tour company. We do bespoke travel experiences. Okay. So we've curated something special for you for the next four days. Can you tell them what is going to be happening in the next four days? Okay, so what a lot of people don't know yeah. is that uh, when you're here in Victoria Falls, you're close to the Quadra Point, mm -hmm. which means the what only mean place in the world uh -huh. where four countries meet. Oh, wow. So Zimbabwe, Zambia, Botswana and Namibia, they converge. No way. It's about 70 kilometers from here. Oh wow. So what we're gonna do is the Four Nations Tour. Right? Four Nations Tour. Four Nations Tour. Meaning you're gonna be going to four different four countries. countries. So your, your passport, do you have enough uh, pages? Of course I do. Yeah? Because mm -hmm. you're gonna get a lot of stamps, a lot of stamps. <laughs> it's amazing. So we have two days in Victoria Falls and then we're gonna do a day trip uh -huh. to Chobe National Park in mm -hmm. Zambia. Then from there, we'll cross over by boat into Namibia. Okay. Uh, there's a village on an island in Namibia. Do a village tour, uh, see how that goes, how people live in the village in Namibia. You know, connect to the, to the roots, African roots. Come back into Botswana and then uh, drive and spend the night in Zambia. In Zambia, you're going to do the devil's pool. Yeah. That's something I've really been wanting to do. I'm so scared to do it, but <laughs> I'm going to do it. So you're gonna do the devil's pool and if we have time we're gonna do a rhino walking safari. Oh, wow. So you're gonna get up close with, with rhinos in the Mosia Tunia National Park. Okay. I will come back here. Some of the things we'll do in Victoria Falls and the Sunset Cruise, um, obviously a tour of the falls, flight of the angels. You know the falls, David Livingston described the falls as seen so lovely. Mm -hmm. They must have been gazed upon by angels in their flight. Oh wow. So if you see you want to see the falls mm -hmm. from the angels view. Wow. From the sky. Wow. We take you on a flight of the angels. Oh my gosh. So, Listen. Yeah. This is incredible. I'm so excited. Yep, yep. Four countries in how many days? In four days. Oh my god. Where does this happen? Guys. In four days. So for those of you who have energy and strength, those of you like me who love yep. to travel mm -hmm. and you've been thinking of traveling. Mm -hmm. This is your answered prayer. Yep, yep. This is your go ahead. Yes, yes. We're yes. gonna make a package where you can also book and experience yep, what I'm gonna yep, be doing. So yep. I'm gonna be taking you guys along. Yep. Oh my goodness. And now I'm thinking, do I put all this in one video or do I divide it? I'm like, oh my god. You know, you know the beauty the beauty of it is we're so excited to have you here. Yeah. And we're gonna put in a discount code oh, wow. for your followers. Yo. Yeah. No way. Discount yeah. code for them. Yes. Yes. What? Yes. Yes. Because we don't just want them to see. We want mm. them to experience Africa. Yo. So that's what's up. That's amazing. Yeah. So, so when you book, you're gonna get a discount. Yes. Just tell them that Trudy sent yes. you. Yes. So I'm gonna put numbers and an yes. email on the screen yes. so you can call yes. and book. I've never seen this before. Yes. Four countries in four days. We are yes. so blessed to be at this point of the world yes. right now, and you're gonna take advantage of it. I've never seen a view like this in my life. Yo guys, this is my first view of River Zambezi and OMG. Ah, it's taking my breath away. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Yo. So if you are doing white water rafting, this is this is where the rapid starts. You oh, this so way. you guys you also pass here when you're doing yes. white water rafting? Yes. No way.
Since you are guys decline. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Do I yeah. want to zip line? Oh my yeah. god, over this? Yep. Yeah. Yep. There's also bungee jumping. I'm definitely not doing bungee jumping. Bungee jumping. I did that in Uganda. The there. Uh, we have a bridge on that end. Apparently, that's your guys do bungee jumping. When you come in front, this is what you see. Guys, I almost dropped my battery down there. It's crazy. <laughs> but I serve a living God and he wouldn't let that happen to me. So, yeah. yeah. So, you're saying something? Oh, yeah. This is. So right over there is Zambia, right? So oh, really? we're just yeah, we're just chilling. This is Zambia. Yes, and that bridge connects Zimbabwe. Oh, to Zambia. oh, incredible! Yeah, I had so no idea. Nice cocktails, enjoying the sunsets, overlooking the Zambezi River. This beautiful formation, this gorge, it's called the Batoka Gorge. Batoka is the people originally from here. They're called the Batoka people or the Tonga people. Okay. So this gorge is just a tribute. The name is just a tribute to them. Oh, nice. And yes. the name Zambezi is actually in the Tonga langu language. Mm -hmm. Zambezi is taken from Kasambabezi, right? Mm -hmm. Kasambabezi means the ones who know the rivers bathe oh, wow. in it. Only the ones who know the river bathe in it. It means if you don't know this river, you don't play around because it will go with you. Oh wow. So the Tonga people know this river like the back of their hand and they're custodians. Interesting. They've been for centuries and it's a beautiful river. Wow. Fourth longest in Africa. Oh wow. Yes. Okay. And if you've never appreciated them, when you come here you'll love it. It's a breath of fresh air used to die for and they serve the best cocktails by those restaurants so yeah come by early the next morning good morning guys another day at Vic Falls I'm so blessed to be alive I am seated right next to the pool that's the pool behind me and I'm having breakfast most guys are having breakfast indoors because that's what they're meant to do but i felt like i need some sun i felt a little cold so i just came to sit in the sun to get some cold um uh, to get some heat i'm having breakfast and then i'm gonna go um, to explore uh vic falls we explored victoria falls last night oh my god the loon it's called the luna tour of the vic falls the moon was full it was extremely dark i tried to film do a video but it was just black and uh welcome to the victoria falls national park where we are conducting a tour of the lunar rainbow some say it's a lunar rainbow some say it's, it's a moon bow but uh whichever way, way, way you call it it will find this is because it's a rainbow seen at night formed by the moonlight my name is lloyd or monji this is uh the two of us will be guide for the top before up in front you'll be at the back in that way we are all safe inside the falls and uh, these tours are done three times in a month the day before the full moon during the full moon and the day after the full moon tonight is the last day that's why we decided to start a bit late but then there's a way we took photos and then the images were Guys, I we were literally like the only black people there, me and Rutsoka and his peer. The rest were just so white people. It's a fascination. When the moon is full, right next to the waterfalls, a rainbow forms. At night, a very clear rainbow. You know, it was easily one of the most beautiful views I've seen. And then very romantic. There's so many couples holding each other. And I was like, yo, I miss my hubby, you know? Yeah, let me tell you this is one thing you should definitely do when you come to Vic Falls I wasn't able to take the video because it was very really dark but I took photos which I'm gonna place here on the screen yo guys yo so I haven't seen the Vic Falls during the day but today I'm gonna be seeing Vic Falls we have so much to do I'm gonna be doing a helicopter ride I'm gonna be doing um, I, I, they asked me to do bungee jumping I said no I'll never do bungee jumping again. I did it in Uganda. Scariest thing I've ever done. I'm glad I did it, but it scared my dad off. And um, it's dangerous, you know. My dad called me and gave me a lecture for like an hour. Like, don't do that. You know, my dad's hot. I'm his only daughter. So, <laughs> yeah, in the last month. So, yes, I just told myself I don't want to do dangerous things. So, I'm to being told, okay, I can do ziplining. 
across the whatever the the the, the river but it's kind of scary i'm still trying to decide why do i not then there's so many things to do there's a whole helicopter ride ah, you guys so today's gonna be a busy day guys so i'm not a fan of eggs so i asked her to bring me this and uh, here in zimbabwe they put peanut butter in their porridge initially i thought it was so weird but i'm growing to like it so i am at tabakana house so i moved from where i was staying and this is where i'm staying right now it's a really cool place come in let me show you it's laid back it's very green uh, so many of us love it's so african right they're very welcoming anyway come with me they are guys having breakfast i don't want to invade their privacy um so come with me let me take you up to my home but african everything it's still so african you know those things on the wall wow what do you call this in zimbabwe rupasa it's called what rupasa rupasa yes coming 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 yeah yeah oops this is a bed very african like i told you guys it's a big bed look at this art it's creativity or what then you have your dining table over there you have your shelf very creative shelf on that end and uh look at this window this is gunia we call it gunia in kenya for cutting stuff but see how creative they are with it man and now uh, yeah oh see where you hang your towels nice or what okay we come into the bathroom this is my bathroom and uh, yeah this is my apartment the second place i'm staying here at vic falls so the lunar rainbow yeah so today we've got a day tour yeah. we're gonna see it under the sun hopefully we'll see a solar rainbow which is the common rainbow okay so like the um, the guide men mentioned yesterday this is one of two places in the world the only place in africa where you can see a lunar rainbow and one of two places in the world so yeah, yeah. so yeah there's so many people here i think i'm gonna take a photo there when i'm leaving because there's still people taking photos so let's go in i'm starting to feel so excited you guys you know like this is a wonder of the world this is victoria falls you're talking about yo guys my goodness sorry it's got a question yes it would my uh see but my wife it's wife yes yes it's yes. me oh, oh wow thank you I'd for like watching i'd like to have a, a photo with you please oh that's awesome thank of you. course <laughs> thank you for watching our videos you know, yes i always comment on your videos to know what is my yes. wife <laughs> <laughs> i know everyone ah. also, so, <laughs> seven. seven what is this seven the seven. shoes oh this is seven. Oh, the shoes. yes <laughs> Finally, the moment I have been waiting for. I know my dad is so proud of me because we've talked of coming to Victoria Falls for the longest time. I wish I was able to just fly him here. But the Victoria Falls looks so majestic. I just can't get enough of it. I mean, wow. I studied this in school, you guys. I can't believe that I'm here. Oh my goodness. See where we started off. Beautiful country. Zimbabwe has blown me away. Oh. I think it's one country in Africa that really feels like home. It feels 
say Kenya. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes, I have a lot of Kenyan friends. Yeah. And have I feel some merchandise, yes. Oh, you feel that when you go to Kenya? Uh, yeah, I will. Oh, I will. so nice to meet you. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Oh, the picture. Do you know that Victoria Falls is about 5,600 feet as long? Took us about two hours to move from one end to another. But I still haven't gotten enough of Vic Falls. <laughs> I just came out of Big Falls and guess who I met? Hello guys, how are you? My name is Thomas here. Uh -huh. I am glad to have met uh, Miss Trudy on her way to the falls. So yeah. nice to meet you too. Thank you very much. And he has a business here uh, that you need to come and check out when you come to Big Falls. Come close. Let me tell you. So what he does is that he gives you an opportunity to take a memorable picture with your name on it right behind. Uh, because, I mean, you can't come to vehicles and not take photos. Yes, you you yes, need yes. memories. The unique thing about this is they actually put your name. So I'm like, yo, Miss Trudy, they know me in Big Falls. That's my name right there. And they can put your name as well. This yeah. is amazing. Yeah, thank you very much. It just shows how popular you are also and how much uh, followership you have. Oh. You are your followers. Uh, oh, all thank the way you. in Victoria Falls. Just imagine all the way from yeah, King. I feel so blessed. Ah, thank you so much. Thank and you this so is much. And this is a big deal for me because I've always wanted to come here. Thank you so very I'm much. So I'm so grateful. So guys, please let's promote him. Whenever you come to Big Falls, uh, how can people reach you? Do they just come here yeah, or do you have come a number? Here. Or uh, I've got a number, but the best way once they come, on their way to the bridge. Yeah, yeah they just see the sign On here. their way to the bridge? Yeah, and on their way to the bridge. For, ah, for Thomas. My Thomas. name is Thomas, yes. So yeah, come close. Yeah. I, I need to post somewhere here. Yeah, Where do exactly. I post? Is yeah, it okay? I know, yeah. Yeah, for a photo on Instagram. Come to my Instagram to see this photo. Wow. This is me linking you guys up. So you come here, take a beautiful photo and... Uh, what did you say? I said sharp sharp. Wow, you can <laughs> say that like South Africans. In what? You say sharp sharp like sharp, South sharp, Africans, yeah. which means Okay, okay, or yeah, it's like okay, okay, ah, uh, I mean, <laughs> oh, okay. something like that. Yeah, cool, cool, okay, okay, sharp, 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 bye brother. bye. Yeah. Thank you for everything. All right, cheers, cheers. <laughs> <laughs> you say it twice for right emphasis. You have to say it twice. Yes, you have to say it twice. <laughs> guys, by the way, guys in South Africa love emphasizing, especially let me speak about Zimbabweans. Yeah. So you gotta emphasize. You can't say sharp, sharp, sharp. Sharp, sharp. Don't say calm, calm, calm. Oh, sure, sure. What else do you say twice? Or oh, you say sure, sure. Not here, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Yeah. <laughs> That's how he said. He said it oh, himself. Oh, cool, cool. Cool, cool. Yeah. You just can't say cool. Yeah. Cool, cool. I know you don't say what, you say what, what? <laughs> <laughs> is that not true? Welcome to Zulu Bistro. So this is one restaurant you should come and eat at when you come to Vic Falls. So I have just met the owner. Hello. How are you, Brian? Good, how, good, are you? how are you? I'm fine. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thank Guys. you for visiting us. Oh, thank you. I'm so happy to be here. So your restaurant, we're in Vic Falls, but you're serving local meals. Yes, authentic traditional Zimbabwean food. Why? We're in Zimbabwe. But, but have you have many tourists in Big Falls. So when they come to Zimbabwe, they want to have Zimbabwe. Have a taste they've, of Zimbabwe. They've, they've been in, Zimb in Big Falls, they've done the Zimbabwean rivers, the Zimbabwean national parks. We are here to give them the Zimbabwean food. It's amazing. I think, I think a, a travel experience is more meaningful when you connect with uh, people's food. Yeah. And that is what we're offering them. That's amazing. Even me, as someone who's not from Zimbabwe, I get to enjoy the food because I'm like, you, you get the whole package when yes. you come here. How long have you been open? So, we've been open um, over four years now, um, between here and our other restaurant. Um, but serving Zimbabwean food, we've been doing it six months. So, you, you have another restaurant still in Big Falls? Yes, so it's just slightly out of town. Okay. Um, it's a bit of a locals jam. Um, we also do quad biking village tours. So everything we're doing is about culture. So we take people into the village to see how the original Victoria Falls residents live. 
and when we come closer into town here, we're yeah. offering Zimbabwean cuisine. So it's um, it's, it's a whole Zimbabwean package. Okay, how has it been doing business, uh, especially a restaurant here in Big Falls? Look, it's been it's been good. The, our clientele has been absolutely loving the food. It's been it's been it's been you know positive review after positive review. And I'll tell you one one amazing fact: we've actually gotten five times more reviews in the past four months than we did the whole of last year. Oh wow. So it just shows how, how much um, people are actually enjoying. This is what I'm having for lunch. This is my drink. It's so tasty. Yeah. African food. This is cow head. Oh, this is what you're saying, cow head? Yes. Oh, I thought it's an actual cow head. That's how I was scared. It, it, it is actually. So you're having... They've chopped it up nice. So is it bony or meaty? Parts of it are bony. This is the this is the tender part. This is the bony part. So you need to taste this. Uh, so this is cow head, sadza, mm -hmm. some beans and kills. Mm -hmm. Me, uh, he was asking me if I can eat sadza, and I told him no. I'm gonna sleep. So this is what I'm having. What is this? This is uh, venison. It's game meat. I'm not sure which wild animal it is. Oh, what okay. animal is this? Good. Good. What's, what's that? It's a type of antelope. <gasps> Like oh, so I'm eating an antelope. Oh Lord have mercy, forgive me. Antelopes are so cute. Why do you want me to do that? <laughs> no. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna have to try it. But is it even legal? Yeah, it's legal. Absolutely. The food was so tasty. Yo, it's giving Zimbabwe. So right next to the Zulu Bistro Bar, you have this uh, African store here. They sell amazing African things. What caught me the most is that they sell um, fridge magnets from different countries. Usually, uh, when you go to a country, they only have fridge magnets in, their, in that country. I don't know if you get my point. If it's Kenya, it's only Kenyan fridge magnets. But here they have, I was shocked. I was like, is this not a Kenyan flag? Come, come, see. Kenyan flag. Kenya, South Africa, Zambia, and it got me because, guys, this is so emotional. Uh, you guys know I have every country I've been going to, I've been collecting fridge magnets for the sweet memories. So then, when you are moving from a house we are staying into the house we are in now, they misplaced my fridge magnets. I was so mad. I'm like, I can't go back to these countries to get the fridge magnets, they mean so much to me, you know. I was like, damn, what am I gonna do? So then, I see this, I'm like, this is an answered prayer. This is God telling me you gotta buy here, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I don't think I'll get a Kenyan fridge magnet because this is Kenya. I'm it's home, so I'm gonna go to Kenya and get a better one. But I'm considering getting South Africa, Zambia, Tanzania, and Mozambique. I've been to all these countries where the fridge magnets were lost. He doesn't have all the countries I've been to, but at least this will be something. And for Big Falls. I think I'm gonna get the one with the waterfall. Someone was telling me to get the one with the flag, but I'm like, nah, nah, nah. This is the highlight, the one with the waterfalls. So, that's a sub. It's very affordable. It's only $3, but this one is $5, and I saw the sub that are $10. <laughs> Oh, okay, I can see some other designs. Also. So, I've come across something very interesting. This is a Victoria Falls activity passport. So, uh, Mosi Otunya. So, when you open a page, it gives you all the information about Vic Falls, a map, and then on each page, you get an activity. So, wow. So, by the time you leave here, you confirm that you have ticked everything off. This is so cool. From Flying Fox, Victoria Falls, Bungee Jumping, Devil's Fool, um, Crocodile Cage Drive, Walking with the Lions. This is nice. It's finally time to go for the helicopter ride thanks to Rutoka Tours and Travels. I'm going to leave their number in the description box. So make sure you reach out to them if you're coming to Zimbabwe. They're going to treat you like royalty. <laughs> Guys, so see me in the car, we are moving, nini nini. Then I just look out, I'm like, yo, that's a wathog. That's a wathog. That's a wathog. I'm like, oh my God, ah, let's, let's take a video. It's a wathog. And they're like, it's normal. Yeah, but I'm I mean, like, but it's right <laughs> next to the road. 
what you guys have to understand is that Victoria Falls is a small city in the middle of a national park. So okay. yeah, we are in the middle of, of a safari area and buffaloes could just rock up anytime. That's um, crazy. Typically you have animals, especially in the dry season, they could be in the city like after um, after sunset. Oh wow. When there's less human movement. But what what thoughts, baboons I can see them even during the you know light of day yeah it's just that me where i come from you yeah. see what talks in the reserve ah. like when you enter the car then you're like okay now we're going for a safari yeah, yeah but it's like we're just right it's like, it's like they're on two crossing the road we're on safari oh so wow. the safari doesn't begin when, when you, you get to the wild you get to the boom gates we're already inside already, the yeah. national park because look at it this way um Zamezi national park is about you know 55,000 hectares that's a massive thing and we're right in the center of it wow. but Zamezi National Park is in the middle of Kaza conservation area which covers five countries and it's right at the center of that oh, wow. so yeah expect to see that animals explains it. expect to see animals you could see elephants uh, but I think that's what makes it interesting that you could yeah. be driving in yeah. big falls and come across yeah. Warthogs, yep. elephants, it's incredible. Like, wow. You say, you say? I was saying like the other day when I was driving in the morning, uh -huh. going to the helipad, I came across with a giraffe. In the middle of the road? In the middle of the road, So yeah. what did you do? I just stopped and people started watching, taking some pictures and videos. It wow. was so nice. Oh, wow. Yeah. How cool, guys. It's amazing. You know the craziest one I had? Which one? Um, I'll show you the spot. So I used to run. I told you I, I have an on and off yeah. friendship with running. So I used to run in the morning. So one morning I'm running, I think I, I ran a bit earlier. So when I get to where we turn at the helipad, guess what I see? What Lying see? down. A buffalo. Oh no. It was a dead buffalo. Oh, who killed this? It, it, it was just uh, from the bites or whatever on okay. the, on the oh, side. It was a lion. It was a lion that it killed by lion. Oh no. So I suspect that. Maybe a big truck or a bus or something had flashed the lion with lights because it was right next to the road. Okay. So and then the lion just away. ended up like, you know. Yo, the, these are the things you get to see when you come to yeah. Big Falls. Yo, come to Big Falls. So I was one of the first people to see it. Then when I was jogging back, I came down, there was a crowd of people like, what? Like the uh. buffalo there. There were the guys from the parks, the police, and then they were just coming to their bus. Wow. Because you can't touch any wild animal, dead or alive, before the national parks people come. Okay. They are the ones which is like, you know, why I'm mandated by law to sell them. This is what we're going to do. And Friends, we finally made it to the helipad. The last time I came here, they didn't have this lounge. Oh. I see they have a bigger lounge. So this Okay, okay. You're being shown the helicopter flight suit here. And there is a helicopter. And finally, guys, we are taking off. I've got to let you guys know this trip to Victoria Falls has been so fulfilling and so emotional to me. I don't know if it's because Victoria Falls was um, on my bucket list for Africa. I'm not going to tell you the other country on my bucket list, but it's just, I'm just, I feel so blessed and I'm just so grateful for this experience. You guys have no idea. Like I've literally shed tears. Like it's, it, I don't know why, like it's, it, it's crazy, but anyway, <laughs> um let's let's do this let's get the aerial view of uh vic falls but i just want to say guys nothing is impossible whatever you set your mind on you can actually achieve and it's not about you to figure out how you're going to do it it's just a matter of you working hard and believing in god and uh you are going to be just okay okay yeah <laughs> i don't know why i had to say that but uh, maybe someone needed to hear it anyway uh the view from up here yo 
first of all it was scary because this is my first is it my first time on a helicopter ride i think so can't remember ever taking a helicopter ride and it was really shaking and it was so scary um but uh i got myself together guys look at this ain't ain't this beautiful ain't this just beautiful i mean god is just so great if this is no proof that god is real then i i don't know you know and this is actually during the season when the water is you know less because it dries up during this time of the year but apparently when you come here um the beginning of the year it's like the whole place is just full of water it's it's incredible guys so we just left the helicopter and the, our pilot was a white guy and when he finished he was like thank you guys um asante sana so i was like did you say asante sana because that's swahili this is big falls and he was like yeah my wife is kenyan my wife is a kisi i'm like what that's so cool say hi to her so your husband really loves you he was so sweet he literally had a photo of his wife right there um on the should i call it the dashboard of the plane so he looks at his wife and his flat i'm like yo that's beautiful you might watch this video since you're kenyan your husband loves you so much and then he had a kenyan wristband and he's white well that was dope that was so cool yeah yeah it was so cool but i was i was a little scared i don't think i need to go for zip lining or bungee jumping i think this is all the adrenaline have you used for the for day today. yeah okay. Yo, when it was going like this, but it was what was making it exciting. You know, I've never taken this this before. Ah, it makes it exciting. Uh -huh. But we, you, you kind of scared. Then you look at the pilot; he's so cool, like he knows what he's, he's got, doing, he's got, like he's yeah. got it. And the other guys are like so chilled. So it made me relax. Zero. You know? Oh my God, it was so. Now I'm like, I wanna go back. Don't, don't get me tired about the view. Don't even go there. That's Yo, guys, listen. When you come to Vic Falls, you have to come here and you have to take the helicopter ride. The experience is something else. That's and so you want to say thanks so much to, you know, Rutoka uh, Travel Company because it has made this possible for me. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> now you can see I've taken a helicopter ride. I've ticked that off. So when you come to Vic Falls, I'm going to link you up with Rutoka so they can do this for you as well. Because, yo, let me tell you it's so beautiful from up there